Hello everyone. Today I'm going to upgrade my existing Windows 7 engineering system to Windows 10 Pro system. And in this Windows 7 system, this system was installed Rockwell Automation RS Logic 5000 Studio 5000 from version 20.05 to version 32, as well as Factory Talk version 11. As we know, the support for the Windows 7 is coming to an end on January 14, 2020. So in recent months, there will be uh, many industry users upgrading their existing Windows 7 system to Windows 10. So today, I will show this process. Before we upgrade the Windows 7 system, you need to check what the existing version about the Rockwell Automation software installed in your system. To check the existing version, you could control panel, check the programs, click the programs and the features. And from this list, you can find out what the existing versions installed in your system. So this system was installed from version 20.05 RS Logic 5000 to version 32 version, as well as Factory Talk Wheel Studio for Machine Edition 11, version 11. Other than that, you also need to go Rockwell Automation website to check out the compatibility list to compare the existing Rockwell Automation software and the Windows 10 compatibilities. To check the compatibility list, we can go to the 3w.rockwellautomation.com, type in this, and then we hit the Get Support. Select the production, compatibility, and the migration. And then select the check product compatibilities. Tap the software. You are going to search that compatibility with the operating system. And from here, you can type in, for example, RS Logic 5000. And from here, you can select the products. And you can select the versions. So from this list, you can check out the different version that compatibilities with the operating system. For example, Windows 10 from here. Or you can go to the selections. and select Studio 5000. Click Studio 5000. Select the version 32. So you can select the versions in your system and check out the compatibilities with the operating system. So in my system, I select the RS Logix 5000, Studio 5000 system, Studio 5000 Logix designer. So in my system, I installed it from version 20.05 to version 32, and plus the versions 25, 27, 28, and 29, those versions. So we can find out that so version 20.05 is compatible with the Windows 10. Uh, however, this version 24 from this slot, it is unknown. So if you check out this, some gray spot, it shows unknown issues, or blank, a blank or empty cell indicate there is unknown issues. So it's not showing it's not compatible because it is unknown. So after we upgrade to Windows 10, check out if the, this version is still can communicate with the actual controller, uh, if we can still 
do the commissioning with this version. This is a compatibility checklist. Other than this, you also need to check out if your C drive has enough room. At least you need to leave 20 gigabyte. And in my system, that is the Windows 7 Ultimate system. To download the migration tool, that tool is used to upgrade the Windows 7 to Windows 10. We can go to the Microsoft website, www.microsoft.com, and search Create Windows 10 Installation Media, and click this button, Download Tool Now. After we download the tool, that tool named Windows 10, Win 10 underscore media creation tool 1909. And then double click to upgrade your Windows 7 system. Let's start to upgrade. And this whole process might take roughly one hour. So make sure your laptop is fully charged uh, or plugged it with uh, AC power. So let's double click. And during this time, you need to connect with the internet. Getting a few things ready. And from here, we read the license terms and then hit the accept. Once this screen pop up, we need to select upgrade this PC now. It will upgrade this existing Windows 7 directly. Click next. Firstly, it will download the Windows 10 installation file. After we download the Windows Media, it will automatically start creating Windows 10 Media. Now this uh, setup process is ready to install the Windows 10. And from here, we hit the install. Now the system will start to restart. This restart will take several times. Let's log in the system. And from here, we leave all the settings as a default, hit accept. So basically from here, the window 10 is installed. But one thing we found that the size of the screen is shrinked. The reason is, this system is a virtual machine system. We need to reinstall the VMware tools based on the Windows 10 system. So from here, we hit the Player, Manager, hit the Update VMware tools. Double click. Either complete. If the selection pop up remove, I will prefer to hit the remove 
to remove the existing VMware tools and then restart the system and uh, install new VMware tools that is specially for the Windows 10. So you can see that after you install this tool, so the resolution of the screen becomes larger. From here, we can select or we can make the full screen mode. So we see that the screen become a full size. Let's restart the system. Once it's restart the system and the screen size has become the full screen. So from here, the upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 is completed. So next, if we record from this compatibility list, we can see that that version 24, the compatibility with uh, Windows 10, currently that is a version 1909, 1909. So the compatibility is now showing here is unknown. So I'm going to test that. Through the test, we can see that the Studio 5000 or RS Logic 5000 version 24 uh, is compatible with the Windows 10, and higher than this version, they are all compatible with the Windows 10. Uh, I'm not going to test that because they are all showing as compatible. Um, so that means this Windows 10 upgrade is successful. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.